You know, I met a brother a few days ago in India at the lounge. Now, you know, the business class lounge in India. Oh, subhanAllah, the food is absolutely superb. So I was telling him, oh, this is lovely food. It's like a five-star restaurant. He says, oh, you know, it's so beautiful. You know, the women of today, they don't cook. And I said, well, the men of today have never, the men of today don't even know how to cook. What do you mean? I said, you're supposed to know how to cook as well. Even if it's just eggs like me, by the way, alhamdulillah, it's a good thing, alhamdulillah. May Allah grant us ease. But it's no longer as it used to be. No, it isn't. You have to face reality. You must help. You must assist. If you don't, what type of a happiness would you like from your spouse? You see them sweating. They need help on both sides. You see them doing things. Even if you were to appreciate, it's great assistance. If you were to stand up for your spouse, it's great help. The brother tells me, you know, nowadays we just eat burger. Now, I'm sure a lot of you know Urdu, right? We just eat burger. Nowadays, we just eat burger. I told him in that case, they must be a Gerber. <laughs> May Allah grant us ease. May Allah grant us ease. <laughs> you know, Gerber means a problem for those of you who don't know Urdu or Hindi. Gerber means a problem. So he says, in my life, I've only had about eight or nine burgers. I told him, then you probably don't have such a big Gerber in your home. But at the same time, that's not something that you should be proud of or not. It's irrelevant actually, whether you've eaten at home or eaten out. Do you know many years back, many years back when I was young, we never ever ate out. I'm sure a lot of you would agree with that. We didn't even know what it was to eat out. And the restaurants, the number of restaurants were very small, a very little number, small number of restaurants. Nowadays, subhanAllah, look at the streets. I believe in Manchester, there's one whole street that Subhanallah, if you were to eat in one restaurant for a week, the whole year would pass and you wouldn't be finished. Subhanallah. Isn't there a street like that? What's it called? There you go. Subhanallah. There you go. And you've got all these beautiful restaurants. Make use of them sometimes. It's not wrong. In fact, you know what? You should. Perhaps you might want to take your family along here and there. There's nothing wrong. You make them happy once in a while. You should know how to strike the balance. It's not like every day we can go there. Oh, the food was lovely. Awesome. I wish I could taste it on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Relax. Maybe perhaps a day or two in the, in the week. It's okay. Or it depends on you and your circumstances. If you're both working class, you might want to have takeaways more often. But you need to make sure it's healthy, by the way. You cannot expect people all the time to come home and to cook and to clean and to do everything all at once and to expect your home to be a happy home. How? It's not going to be. Both of you are working, for example. So then help each other. Help each other. Come, at least do some cleaning. At least do some, once in a while, do some cooking. Once in a while, do some some other chore, some duty, go and do the, 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 the school run, or maybe go and do the shopping. 